just so you guys are aware, this video does contain some tech news. Maybe you expected it, maybe you didn't, but, but I thought I'd just give you a fair warning. Wouldn't want to startle you. Ryzen Soft launched yesterday, so we got all the official details from AMD concerning specs and price points, but the internet had a bit more to say on the matter. A Reddit user posted slides from AMD's tech day for the press showing AMD's benchmarks comparing the Ryzen 7 1800X and 1700 to Intel's Core i7-6900K and 7700K respectively. and. We gotta say, good on AMD for showing the tests where Ryzen actually did worse than Intel as well. The slides also revealed that the mid-tier Ryzen 5 processors led by the Ryzen 5 with 6 cores, 12 threads, and 3.6 to 4 gigahertz base to boost clock will be coming in Q2. And finally, in other Ryzen news, Overclock3D.net has gotten their hands on a screenshot of the Ryzen Master overclocking utility, which appears to offer per core clock adjustment, cast latency adjustment, and the ability to disable cores, among other features. And now it's time for everyone just to chill with all the Ryzen leaks, okay? It's going to officially launch March 2nd, so just find something else to do in your time, you know? Maybe live in VR for a few days. Qualcomm can help with that as they've just made a couple of big moves in VR. Today, the mobile tech company announced the Snapdragon 835 VR Development Kit, or VRDK. We don't actually know what the headset looks like yet, but it's probably something like the Snapdragon VR 820 Qualcomm released last year. But we do know it's wireless, has a 2560 by 1400 display, four gigs of RAM, built-in eye trackers, and a trackpad on the right side for controls. Qualcomm also announced a partnership with Leap Motion to integrate hand tracking tech into the VRDK. The headset won't enter the consumer market, but will serve as a reference design for product manufacturers to build on. Qualcomm should give us a closer look at the headset at the upcoming Game Developers Conference and Mobile World Congress. And in more VR news, Valve has announced a new feature that should make games more immersive, Steam Audio. The new tool is a result of the company's purchase of audio tech startup up Impulsonic in January. It automates the lengthy scripts and filters that developers have had to create in order to approximate the way audio bounces around environments in real life. This means developers can simply integrate Steam Audio into their games and get immersive, high-fidelity spatial audio. The tool supports Unity at the moment, but will soon support Unreal Engine as well, with more game engines being supported down the line. What do you guys think? Does audio in games need better spatial tracking, or is it good enough already? Leave a comment. It's time for Snippy Snippets. Samsung has denied reports that the company would sell refurbished Galaxy Note 7s, although they technically only denied they'd sell them in India. So realistically, that probably means they won't sell them, period. Sorry, anarchists. Samsung unveiled its latest mobile chip, the Exynos 98895, a 10 nanometer based chip with eight cores, an ARM Mali G71 GPU, and support for 4K video recording at 120 FPS. So look out for some super powered phones coming down the line. Sony, meanwhile, supercharged their SD cards with their SFG series. The company says that it will reach read speeds of 300 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 200 199 megabytes per second. And I'm glad they made that distinction. Sony doesn't want to give you the wrong idea here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 299, guys. <laughs> yeah, not 300. <laughs> Chill. Yeah. Chill. An alleged AMD employee has published ashes of the singularity benchmarks for the previously unheard of Radeon RX 560 and 580, showing performance similar to the GTX 1050 Ti and the 1070, respectively. But this story needs a healthy dose of salt, so don't get too excited there. Sit down. <laughs> and popular leaker Evan Blass has tweeted the full specs for Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S8 Plus, showing an iris scanner, micro SD card support, and <gasps> an Android operating system. Slow down, Samsung. We can only take so much innovation. Sit down. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post. Link 
linked in the description. Can I get a non-birthday shout out? Yes, yes you can, Ayush. Here you go. This, this is the shout out. Shout out to you. If you have something you want us to say here on Netlinked, it could be anything within reason, like birthday callouts. Tweet us at hashtag NCIX, yo dog. This week is NCIX's colossal sale event because that Anne Hathaway movie is coming out soon about a kaiju. That's, that's not actually why, but it's because the sale is huge. So huge that orders over $50 and under 25 pounds will get free ground shipping in Canada certain areas because Canada is also colossal and you also get two times rewards points. Now for the featured Canadian deal we got a Logitech G710 plus mechanical keyboard for $89.98 that's 60 bucks off and for the American deal we've got an LG 34UM88P it's a 34 inch ultra wide QHD monitor for $635.99 that's 264 bucks off. Good gravy! Click the I up here in the corner or the links in the description for all of this week's deals. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIS. Now, it's time for me to go and time for you to reflect on how this video made you think about tech news and how it affects us in all very profound ways. See you next time.